Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks a lot for checking out the video today, spending some time with me. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about what I consider the perfect type of a day with the perfect, the most perfect lure to fish in the month of March. So in other words, if you guys uh, want to have your best March fishing experience, which is the biggest, the best month of the year to catch a big bass, here is the exact conditions as far as weather, water clarity, and the one bait that I'm gonna talk about to give you the, the maximum odds of catching some big fish. So I think it's gonna really gonna help you guys out in today's video. Also guys, just a quick invitation, anybody interested out there in becoming a channel member of Intuitive Angling, all you have to do is go to my YouTube homepage here, click on the join button for information there, and that's a good way to support the channel. And also channel members get extra videos that aren't, that aren't seen by the public every week and some other perks that go with it. So much appreciated you guys checking that out. Okay, guys, if there's any time of the year whatsoever that you guys can go fishing and have a chance of catching the biggest fish of the year, it's right now. We're in the middle of March. From about mid-March to the first part of April, there's about a three-week window there where there's more big fish, over four pounds, that are shallow and catchable and in that mood and that personality to bite than any other time of the year. That's This is when it's had, we are right in the middle of it right now. So when that water temperature starts hitting, you know, 54, 55, 56 degrees, um, mid-March, early type of April, I can promise you your odds of catching big fish are greater than they, any other time of the year if you have the right set of circumstances and situations. That's what we're gonna talk about. First of all, I'm gonna show you the bait here in a second, and then let's, let's first talk a little bit about the conditions. The number one type of day that you want to go fishing in March when you have water temperatures in the 50s, this is what you have to have. You need a south, a southwest, or a westerly wind accompanied by a stable or a falling barometric pressure. Um, you need wind in that anywhere between that 10 to 15 mile an hour range, and you need some type of pretty heavy overcast. So in other words, you've got everything there's a there's a front on the way it's like a front is approaching you've got some changing weather you got it's humid you know barometric pressure is falling low light conditions it helps a little bit if you have some light rain with it and the wind and you need to combine that with a, with the right water clarity and the right water clarity for those situations is anywhere between like two and a half to maybe four or five foot of clarity when you have that <clears throat> now once you have that situation where you have that perfect weather window, guys, here is the number one bait for catching big ones. It's a big spinner bait, a large profile, big willow leaf spinner bait here, heavy head. You want a three quarter to one ounce. And also guys, I'll put my uh, tackle warehouse link in the description. If you guys want to get you some spinner baits or whatever, you can use that link and it's a good way to help the channel out. But anyway, um, big spinner bait with a large profile. I've got the Zoom Shimmy Shad trailer on it. The, the entire profile length of this bait is probably seven to eight inches long. It moves and displaces a lot of water. This is a number six willow leaf here. Got a number three or four uh, Colorado in front. And um, the combination of the flash and the water displacement, the vibration, profile of the bait, everything with it, makes this a big bass lure in that situation because it resembles a big gizzard shad. So the spinnerbait, guys, is without a doubt the best big bass lure to use this time of year. Now, some people may argue about a big swim bait or glide bait, but I have not seen it to be able to compete with the spinnerbait, especially if you've got a little bit of uh, misty rain or something like that. Spinnerbait is gonna get you some big bites, you know, for sure with that. Now the places you fish it around, typical pre-spawn areas. If you guys are fishing grass lakes, you need to be on those flats that are next to ditches, closer to deeper water. If you're on typical man-made impoundments, you want to concentrate on those pre-spawn staging areas, which are normally your steeper banks that are getting ready to lead into the spawning areas, targeting whatever cover you have. Like if you got just bare rock, bare rock's great. You know, lay down trees, stumps, docks, whatever. Um, one of the things that I have found as far as if you gave me the perfect scenario, this is what it would be. I would go into a major creek arm and I would want to get on one of those channel banks about halfway to two thirds of the way back in the, in the major creek arm, fairly steep bank, maybe some large rocks on there with the wind hitting it pretty hard. And I want to go down there and I'll slow roll that spinnerbait anywhere between say 
three to 10 foot deep down that whole, you know, channel bank. I'll just throw that spinner bait out there, you know, let it hit the bottom and just slow reel it like that. If it, if it, and if it, if it starts coming up, if it starts coming up a little too high, I'll just let it fall back down to the bottom. But I'm wanting to keep it maybe a foot away from the bottom in that, again, three to 10 foot zone under those conditions. But anyway, guys, if you have that scenario, if you, if, what I described, the closer you can get to that scenario, your odds of catching big fish go through the roof. I'm, I mean, if, if, you, if you told me like anywhere here in Missouri, if you laid out those situations that I just described to you, I expect to catch a big one. I mean, and when I'm talking about a big one, I'm talking about a fish over four pounds. Any, a fish over four pounds is an exceptional big fish. So uh, that's gonna give you the best chance for it. So hope it helps out guys. Like I said, co also color of the spinnerbait just depends on you know the, the light level. Most of the time I like some type of a pearlescent shad, maybe a little chartreuse, white, uh, some type of shaddy looking color. Just have to match the water clarity of that a little bit more. So give it a try, hope it helps out. We'll talk later.